Hey everyone and welcome to the road to self-actualization and in today's video we talk about how to become insatiably curious and here there are several ways to be curious and things to be curious about. What you can ask yourself is what is it that I could be more curious about that I'm not currently curious about? For example, I can find that I have a high degree of social curiosity as an extroverted and as a feeling person, I'm a person that has a lot of interest in other people. What are they thinking? What are they saying in different conversations? That's why I learned five different languages. So that whenever I'm out, whatever language I hear, I can understand what they say. And whenever I hear somebody speak a language I don't understand, I want to learn that language too, so that I can also understand and follow on that conversation. Essentially, I want to keep up with the tribe. What are people saying? What does the community think? And why do they think that way? This has to do with the need for connection. But there are many different forms of curiosity. There can be a curiosity that is displayed, for example, when we are trying to deal with challenging situations or logical problem solving. A logical curiosity, you might call it, or a scientific curiosity. I have a lot of scientific curiosity, which means I'm often asking myself, why different things happen. A scientific curiosity can display yourself as like, for example, why is the sky blue? Or why do tra these trees grow roots on the sides instead of down? Well, maybe it's because of the soil. And why is the soil so bad here that makes the trees, oh, maybe because it must be a lot of rocks below it, essentially. Like this kind of curiosities are the curiosities of a natural scientist. What's the name of this flower? And what kind of a plant this this and how does that work why do we have gravity why did the apple fall from the tree now to understand what makes you curious makes you make you make yourself wonder what it is that makes you ask questions what kind of things cause you to have questions and what kind of things cause you to have answers when things give you questions that's a sign that these things give you curiosity when things give you answers or judgments, that means they decrease curiosity. Essentially, curiosity starts where judgment begins. And the more we find ourselves judging a trait or explaining something or trying to find answers for something, the more we show a tendency towards judgment. Judgment is associated with the feeling of disgust or with the regions below and behind the nose. Essentially, they make us resist or avoid or ignore things because we find them simply disgusting. The thought of sports or watching the football could trigger a sense of mini, mini disgust or discomfort. This feeling like, I don't watch football. I don't like that. I don't, uh, I'm not interested in physics. I don't know maths. I don't like maths. You know, like these kind of things can cause you to lose curiosity and to have fewer questions. And when somebody speaks about these things, that can trigger your disgust or can cause you to become more close-minded. Similarly, what can also trigger your close-mindedness is how somebody speaks. Perhaps you don't like how I pronounce a certain word and perhaps that makes you stop listening to the rest of the things that I say. Or perhaps it's how I speak about it. Perhaps, for example, you have a left-wing or a right-wing bias. And so if you hear information that agrees with this bias, you're okay with it and you listen to what that says. But if it goes against your bias, you will throw it out and discard it and you might even react with disgust. Similarly, if I'm a scientist with a left-wing bias and I speak about, for example, a new theory on psychology, you might be more inclined to believe me simply because you like and believe in me as a person or agree with my political views. This kind of tendencies are all things that kind of decrease our general curiosity. To understand curiosity better, I have a video on my Patreon page, patreon.com slash Eric Dorr, where I talk about the real problem of developing curiosity and how you can overcome this tendency towards disgust. Thank you so much for watching and see you all in the next video.